All right, uh, we're back and uh, here is a uh, projection mapping of 360 content, including set extension. So I'll start again. We have set up our stage and everything. Uh, I don't need to repeat that. We've got a projection set up. We drop in our clip here, tell it that it is acrectangular. rectangular. We choose our camera profile, Blackmagic 12K, NCAM trackers, Frustum highlight, projection type of sphere. And now for live capture, we choose our Declan AK Pro that we have here. We enable set extension and I will leave the frame delay alone for now. And now I hit create and here we go. So now we are um, in, our, in, in the player. Um, and as you can see on the LED wall, our camera is currently looking halfway off the LED wall. So the frustum goes outside the LED wall. Uh, however, uh, this will change a little because again, we need to do some housekeeping here. First thing we'll uh, do is go to the camera menu down here. And again, the focal length is not linked. So control click it and link it to the zoom from the end cam. And as you can see, our uh, frustum has slightly changed. Um, and now we have a correct frustum. And uh, what is being set up here is the um, projection node here, which has a channel controller built in. Once you click that, this dialog up here will pop up and you can select input one and input two. Input one is our um, rectangular footage that we're uh, sending out to the LED wall. So input one is the content that goes to the LED wall. Input two is the camera capture um, through SDI uh, that we're fetching back into LifeFX and extending with the uh, 360 footage. Now, again, you want to go to the settings here, oops, sorry, to the displays tab down here and make sure that the dual head display is not set to dot, 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 but actually input one, because again, input one is our actual content that we're sending to the LED wall out the dual head display towards the LED processor. So this should be set to input one. Sometimes it isn't. All right. Now, uh, for our note tree, um, we basically have uh, the same stuff here that we had before without the set extension. So here's, I've locked my viewport down here to always show the top level node. Um, but we have the same uh, 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 stuff here with the frustum matte layer here on the uh, EQ to 2D, uh, EQ to wall node. Basically, this part of the tree was the setup we had before without the set extension. And now we have this um, projection switcher node on top here, which has um, the other part where we fetch the camera feed back via SDI for the set extension. So on this one here, I have my uh, frustum mat highlighting the camera frustum. Uh, that works nicely. Um, and uh, yeah, this is our projection that goes to the LED wall. Let's look at the set extension. So here in the channel controller, we will select input number two, which is our capture from the camera output. And we can see here is the LED wall, here's where it ends. And here is where the set extension starts. And you can see there's a small gap in between LED wall and set extension, and we're going to fix that right away. Over here in the uh, uh, node tree, um, let me first lock my viewport to the top level node and then uh, go down here. No, here. This is the node I want to do. This is the stage mat. So this node creates an alpha channel um, off the LED wall automatically based on what we configured in our stage manager here. Um, and it allows me to uh, change the mat of our set extension. So I can expand it or shrink it and this way bring it closer to our LED wall. Very nice. Um, I can actually also feather it like such and then expand it a little bit more. Well, that was maybe a little bit too much feather. All right, so now it's feathered and uh, we have a little bit of a soft uh, uh, transition between set extension and live camera capture. Um, and now what's obviously left to do is uh, grade the set extension a little bit. So I would go here in the node tree. Um, we define the mat here in the node settings of the projection uh, stage mat node here. And I will go one down 
where we have uh, our our feed for the set extension. Because if I stay on this node and start grading, you will see I'm grading both the camera feed and the virtual set extension. But I only want to adjust the virtual set extension. So I'll select this node and now add a little bit more gain. Well, we have different scenes in one clip here. Uh, so something like this. A bit hard, but you get the idea. So now we have done that. And uh, yeah, let me move the camera a little. So we can see the set extension working, hopefully. Here we go. Yeah. So I hope what you're seeing makes sense there. Um, but yeah, this is essentially how set extensions work inside LiveVix with 2D and 2.5D footage.